So after the first generation of the One Design, we have gone to a full review from uh, uh, design inputs to design methodologies, uh, from manufacturing uh, uh, techniques. And uh, the second generation is actually an outcome of uh, a revolution uh, inside the, the structure of this uh, of this component, so we have uh, uh, changed the way we are building it. Uh, we are we have changed the way we analyze it, uh, and we have uh, included in the design process uh, more details and more accurate uh, inputs in order for the designers and the builders to make sure that we accomplish successfully this uh, this milestone. The first uh, uh, reason why we do testing is uh, uh, to prove the design and to build up confidence. Confidence is the key word for testing. So uh, a full testing program is a, a very important phase prior to going the water because it will provide a full confidence to the designer, to the builders and to the sailors in order to be able to push 100% from day one. And here we are just pushing to the, to the maximum limit to this component in order to be able to declare that the components are certified and safe. During these three days of test, uh, um, what we have to actually um, achieved is uh, go through the entire portfolio of load cases that we have established and uh, make sure that uh, in every load case uh, and in every level being fatigued cycling, low cycle fatigues or static cases, uh, the part do not, does not develop any damage within the acceptance criteria that we have established together. This test is actually a very critical moment for the, for the campaign, for all the teams. We are all uh, actually ready to go. And this arm is one of the last uh, piece of puzzle that we need to, to, to complete our boats. And uh, we need to make sure that today we accomplished and tomorrow we have uh, a one design arm package ready to go to be delivered by, to all the teams uh, to be ready to sail on their AC-75. This kind of has never been never been done ever before. That's the first time we introduced this, this this new kind of architecture. We want to make sure it works. It has to be light in order to take off on foil early enough and lightweight. We can't afford to produce some elements that are absolutely, you know, so that they will be too heavy and do not allow us to foil. So we have to really, you know. Design and build something that, that allow completion on the water of our expectations of falling really like, like we never seen before. So it's good that um, we validate that we don't uh, have some unexpected strain levels or deformation levels in the carbon and, and, and that uh, the global deformation of the element we have like. It makes us safe when we go to the, to the water, everybody will then be focused on racing or not on will this be okay. The test today validated uh, that we can go safe on the water without stressing. grounding cases, so we do the starboard and port torsion, and, uh, and then we pull off the day. Three tons.
four tons. Chris, ready for the next step? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay, one design arm, test number six, LC6B starboard, 